Dara, the last time you, you were here, you were very disappointed, even though you picked up the win. A much better, cleaner performance this time. How are you feeling? Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> again, I'm not going to be too critical this time. Look, after my last, uh, my last performance, you said I wasn't too happy. As I said to a lot of the interviewers over the while, I was very happy with how I patched up my holes in my game. I spent a lot of time working on my weak points. And I, w I was just chatting to John recently. You know, I've been... Uh, in all my fight simulations throughout the years, I was just I was doing the same thing, same thing, same thing, winning all my fight sims, never working on my weak areas. And recently this camp and since my last fight, I've been going in with fight simulations and telling myself, right, I'm not going to grapple once, I'm going to strike the whole time. So I've been really working on my weak points, but I feel like, uh, I said to John, it's, it almost feels like I'm going one step backwards to go two steps forward in the near future. So that's how I felt tonight. I feel like I've put all the work in my weak points and one step back, two steps forward. and. I'm going to keep climbing, so. How did the featherweight limit suit you? Obviously, you look good at the weigh-ins yesterday. How did you feel today? Oh, yeah, I feel like now, I know, <laughs> I came down here to be uh, the strongest man, the featherweight and the bigger man. Now, that cunt, he was fucking strong, man. <laughs> I felt, I, was like, I think he's one of the strongest people I've ever felt. But I, I knew rightly, looking at him uh, and feeling him, I could feel him squeezing. So I knew it was going to be, you know, how long could he do that for? He's, he's not going to do that for three rounds. I said to him, I was like, you're going to burn out talking to him in there and once I got back to the corner after the first round I said to John he's got to burn out he's got to burn out I could feel him quitting and slowing down so you know at this weight though I feel much better much fitter every bit is strong and uh, I think this is a much better fit for me How good for, was it for you as well to prove in your very first fight that you could take you know, cardio into the third round and get almost stronger as the, the latter half of the third round went down uh, Yeah well I, like, I, I put a lot of work into my cardio uh, the last fight, I know I said that as well, but I went in there and I sprinted from bell to bell. Like, you know, that's going to that's gonna empty anyone's gas tank. But, no, I, I put a lot of work into it. And it's good for me knowing that uh, the, a weight cut doesn't affect it either. You know, I went, as you said, I was I was getting better as the fight went on. So, now You've got a bit of a gash over your right eyebrow there. Do you remember what happened or when that happened in the fight? Yeah, well, uh, that, that was, no, that's something I'm going to have to work on again. I threw a few kicks and uh, ended up in my back now. But uh, he think he caught the first one and put me there. And... I was looking for that triangle, almost got it a few times, but wasted a wee bit too much time going after it and he caught me with a couple of big elbows. At the time I didn't notice I was caught, I just felt the felt a few drips and uh, you thought he must have caught me. So. You were chatting there, just chatting about how you felt at 145. When you were weighing in, how was the weight cut? Was that okay overall? Uh, very straightforward, like I carry a lot of muscle. Um, I'm in the sauna every day, I'm well used to it, it doesn't phase me. Uh, I only had to do three stints, got down to the weight. Uh, I was back in the cage at 77 and a half kilo. I think last night I went up close to 78 and a half, so I'm a big boy at the weight, like, you know, but nah, I sweat very well and, and uh, the weight cut wasn't an issue. I've been working with Yannick McGee and that man, he's, he's like a scientist and it comes in, so he hit me right. Do you reckon you'd be staying at 145 or, or back up to 155? I could go between the two, you know, I think, uh, I think this slightly smaller frame suits me better, but there's no reason I can't go up and down, up and down. You know, I have the power for a 155, but I do think featherweight's me. When do you want to be fighting again next this year? Do you Are you one of the fighters that has a US visa or no? Well, they told me if I get in and out clean tonight, I don't know if they'll accept that as I'm not as clean, but they told me I might get away on the Paris card, so we'll see. Thank you for watching this video on SevereMMA.com. For more wonderful content, please click the like, subscribe, and notification bell, and follow us on these social medias.